Hello everyone, man. Then why is it that I'm doing a guest here video? Guest here, I'm wondering. You can't really be wondering why. I'm talking about the Showtime style digital circuits. Now I never heard of digital circuits at the time was. So I thought I had. This is a, there's a, a new series in guest here that I'm using. That it's a so one bit what I call nerdy. That pay a hard nerdy. Yeah, I think I call it that I'm not asking a strong diet. It's called the new media circuits. New making circuits. They've got all up to like 3,000 million views. 5 million views. It's like I've seen a scene on this episode. Right here now, and honestly, it's insane how much, how much, like, quote, it is showing again. So, I'm going to watch this blindly. Then you go. I'm going to. I'm going to like the second two videos. I'm going to. I'm going to watch the digital circuit series. Digital circuit series. I'm just see collecting the story. I'm the story. I'm seeing the secrets. I have the two. The two. They come and made the show. So I up there. It's just going there in the dark. On there in the dark. On the. So let's go do this, guys. I feel like I'm knocking episode 1 and trying to seek it to episode 2. The secret is so come out. Find out and they show it. Let's then go. I get to hear you, Bill. But sure, I will. Let's try. 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 And if you do it, say it. And please, get this video to how much good you watch together. Honestly, I'm not testing so I'm not testing so strong. Um, one. Blue card over, but hey, I'm ready to get out to. I need to get started. I'm gonna start and I'm this video, okay? That's saying, I see you guys there. Hello, anyone, I'm Neil Stewart, and now I'm going to be asking like, did this look at part and try out the secrets of the high yellow tails of the two? Did this look at the two? Oh, it's a. Uh, to, uh, to the circuits. I know a lot of series so let's just see it to the size. So that's the one. Oh, that's the one. Okay. Welcome to the amazing digital circus! Huh? My name is Kane, I'm your ringmaster, and I'm here to show that you that the really most jaw-dropping, heart-stopping, mind-bending paraphernalia okay. you've ever laid your eyes upon! Okay, huh? Isn't that right, Bubble? Okay. That's right, Kane! I can't wait to see what you've got cooking up for today! Well, let's not waste- Why did Kane remind me of the new Mario Kale in, in Mario Party 8 or Mario Party 4? Neil, Neil, like he can put that to do it. He was just strong when he asked you. Why am I getting like this? Study time! Let's get right into the show! Anyone. Kane, is this one of your NPCs or is this a new sucker? Because if it's a new character, we're gonna have to redo this whole theme song. I'm I can't do that again. My, my! It appears a new human has entered this realm! Okay. How do I take this? Your headset off! Hey, hold on. Is it the game for you, Walker? That works for all of us. <laughs> Wow. Wow. Just like going like trying to get your eyes out. What's here. going on? I, I put on some weird headset and now I'm here. Oh, Who he's in. He's he's in a video game. He's, he's stuck in a video game. I just got it said, and so he's stuck in a in a shorn, disabling video game. Are you people? Why can't I take it off? Where am I? Let's just try to calm down. Everything's gonna be okay, new stuff. 
We've all been through this. You just need to get your head what to... What the... No, 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 it's going on! Ew, No, 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 my dear. We can't have any of that foul language around here. The Amazing Digital Circus is a place to be enjoyed by all ages. You, my friend, stumbled into an incredible world of wonders where anything can happen. Damn. E except for swearing. Hey, yo, you, 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 Oh my god. Uh, well, how do I, you know, leave? Indeed, uh, huh? Well, well, yeah, he's right. I mean, well, he likes it though. I got about it or anything, but, uh, we don't exactly. You can't. What? Oh, damn. Shut up, Jax. But, yeah, he's right. Welcome to your new home. And your new body. N a new home? What do you mean? Guys, don't be mean. We've been stuck here for years. Old Kinger over there supposedly been here the longest. Who does tell it's suggestion? That's why he's crazy. Oh, okay. Now I get it. This is a dream. And I should just play along until I wake up. Right? Damn, eh? Whatever you say, kid. Okay, he broke my comedy mask. <laughs> so, Kane, we having a new adventure today for the newbie or what? I'd like to give our brand new member a tour of the circus grounds first. <laughs> Off we go! Whoa, okay. Here we have yeah, the tent! We can't this is where your living Time quarters are, as well as all sorts of other activities. Yeah. These activities may include. Hey, yo, what do I say, Brucey? Oh uh, my god, are you good? Ball pits, mini golf, and more! There you go, what the hell? I don't know why you And here we have the grounds! Down with you. Drown yourself in the digital lake or engage in ridery at the digital carnival! Okay. Night, day, it's all okay. The choice is yours, a cosmic buffet! I guess is you. that all there is? Of course not! Hey, yo, this what is the Hey, yo, the you get to the gown to get to the boy the place? How in the world that has to happen? Like, uh, the get to the gowns of the place, and all of a sudden, Kane's eye on me, went to the showing bowl of the place. And, and, um, and the end of the void is going to go into yeah. the void. Not even I know what's out there. Damn, eh? That's it. We stay right here, where I can keep my hundreds of oh, all seeing oh, eyes on you. Hello, Kane. I love you. <laughs> Get out of here before the moon gets frisky. Alright. Wait, what's that? <laughs> Whoa! Clean up on aisle you! I'm on it, boss! Ow. Oh, what the world? That is such a sexy maid. Wait, wait! What was that an exit door I saw out there? Is that a way to leave? What exit? If there was a way to leave, I'm pretty sure we'd have all left by now. Yeah, what are you talking about? Oh my gosh, me. Uh, uh, I, <clears throat> I assure you, there is no magical exit door. You're probably just experiencing digital hallucinations from your mind's transition what to the digital plane. What the, 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 the my I boy. I saw digital it. hallucinations! Oh gosh. Really? How yeah. about we talk about something else? What's your name? Your name, what? My name? Uh, my name is, uh, uh, oh god, why can't I remember my name? Nobody can oh, remember gosh. their name once they enter the dead. Oh, right. Let's get back to the yes. One of the that's few that's things that's I don't have control over are your minds. So all I can help you with is coming up with a new one. Uh, a new one, huh? Uh, what's my name? Don't you worry your little head. Your new name can be anything. What are you thinking? I don't care, just pick anything. Let's see. What do you think of I don't You're right, terrible. Let's try that again. What do you think of Pomni? Uh, sure. I think I just... God, Zooks, you're right, Jax. We should have a brand new adventure for our new member, Pomni. I said that like five minutes ago. You! Yeah, Do you like adventure? Activity? Wonder? Danger? Horror? Pain? Suffering? Any death? Death? Angel food cake? <laughs> Ow! You're 
foresight! Well, damn. Uh, I don't really... Since you're new around here, we're gonna make it a simple in-house adventure to warm you up to how things work around here. What? No, oh, God. I don't want an in-house adventure. Don't worry, Zubal. I'll make it something unobtrusive that you can still choose to not get involved with. Today's adventure is... Gather the gloinks! <laughs> That's right! The entire circus tent will be infested with gloinks! And you gotta catch them all! But what are they? I'm glad you asked, Bubble! They're small! And what do they do? They... How do they... Gloinks are small, mischievous critters that steal anything and everything they run into. Why do these humanoid hash browns do this? How do you stop them? That's for you to find out! Now, good luck, and have fun, my little superstars! Damn, eh? Superstar, What did any of that mean? Oh, that's just one of Kane's little adventures. They're just something fun to do to, you know, prevent us from going insane. <laughs> Speak for yourself. If anyone needs me, then f*** off. Down. Oh, God, oh, please, no! Ah, uh, you're Costco. Oh no, they killed Zubal. Anyway, you guys want to go get something to eat? Oh wait, we should go check on Kofmo. I'm Kofka. pretty sure he'd like to meet Pony. My impenetrable fortress! You want to come with us to check on Kofmo? No, not really. I think Kofmo's gone insane. Last time I spoke with him, he was rambling endlessly about some exit. Damn, Kind of like you, Pony. You might be going insane too. But wait, wouldn't... That more likely mean the exit does exist? Could also mean you just have a jump start and losing your mind. Hey, what about Zubal? Well, I think I'd like to ask him about it, uh, if this was real, which it isn't, because it's a dream. Damn it. <laughs> she still thinks this is a dream. Yeah, man. Is that doing sauce? It's in the chaos. Like, when the chaos, I, um. What? The Kalos are the Hell Watch or the Hell Hotel. The Hell Watch Hotel. Hotel. They quickly come in the second season, the show time. Show time. Show time. I tell you, Hell Hotel is actually coming out, it's like the last season 2 is like on the walker. It's coming out to season 2 on the walker. On on that on on here on on here on Slim. Slim, so I might have to like show on the next one, but you are already on Slim. That's how I have to do. And you can all show on the other. You can all show on the other. And then you can see the other one. And then you can see the other one. Uh, why are you looking at me like that? I'm fine with doing whatever. As long yeah. as I get to see funny things happen to people. I said to. Okay, I've already had enough of these things. <sighs> you, me, and Pomni will go check on Kofmo, which leaves Crybaby and Hoo-Ha together to go handle the Zubal situation. Yeah, <laughs> I... Do you think pairing them up together is a good idea? Of course I do. They're the two most mentally stable and capable characters to be paired together. Wow, on, okay. ladies, let's go you harass the clown. The Disney kid is literally sticking out. My comedy mask is broken again. Ah! Oh! Gangle, you startled me. So, this is where we all live. Or, well, where we all sleep at night. Even though all we don't really right. need to sleep, it's sometimes nice to kind of take a break from everything and have a bit of a routine, you know? Yes. I'm sure there'll be one for... Oh, look, you already got one. Damn, he just say up... I he's, still don't understand. About the adventures... Station. Why even go on them at all? Why not try to find a way to leave? Well, we usually do when we first arrive, but okay, yep. after a while you start to realize that you really can't leave and constantly chasing an unattainable goal will start driving you a bit crazy. And eventually you get to asking what the point of anything is and you completely lose sight of who you are and why you're even alive. And when you reach your breaking point, something really terrible can happen. Oh, damn. Uh, but that's not something we need to deal with today. Above anything else, the adventures give us something to do that keeps our minds healthy and stimulated. 
Thank goodness this is all a dream, right, Pomni? There you go. Why tell you to see you out the station? Why are we here again? What are we doing? We're getting one of our friends. Maybe he's not in his room? I hope he's all right. Don't worry, dollface. I've got a key to his room. Hey, yo, what? No. Wait, what? Why? You, you, you shouldn't have keys to anyone's room. Nah, I've got keys everywhere. And you've all been fine. By the way, I may have left something in your room today, so let me know if you find it. Uh, you're not afraid of Santa Pete's, are you? Jax! Hey, yo, what? No. Literally my only fear. Why would you do this? What? It could be a completely unrelated question. You'll never know until it's too late. Oh damn, I'm showing Pestation. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. You can do them. Whoa. That's it. That's it. They got it. That's it. So, the real judge. What is new? So, he's just going to see cost to do, and this is always, always, uh, always, 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 always. No exit. I need to go sit on him. It's just a go sit. Okay, I am. I think it's going to be new. I think it's going to be something new. Like uh, I, I saw any like monster, any like say 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 yes 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 yes. Ah. Yeah. This is all so interesting. Can I go? And what the go is this? Uh, I've been looking for this. Thanks for keeping an eye on it, Coffee. I'm gonna head up. See ya. Oh! Uh, Coffee's been obstructed! It's okay? What uh, is ball. that? Uh, it might be that terrible thing I was talking about this earlier. Really you door. reach this your really breaking point? Door, okay? Huh? Oh, okay, wait. Maybe there's still time to fix them before we get Kane. Oh, 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 listen! I know we didn't always get along, like when you called me out for fake laughing at your jokes. I swear I really did think they were funny. I was just having a bit of a bad day! Hey, Pommy! Thank you! Help me out here! I understand that you don't want to go! Oh, I'm sorry! Oh, stop. You get it. Yeah, 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 I'm trying to get you high now. I don't know what I'm looking at here. We saw Gloink carry one of Sybil's pieces down there, remember? Oh, yeah. Thank you for the recap. Boy, we're not very good at this, are we? What's <sighs> up, <sighs> fellas? Jerks! We found the Zubal hole. Cool. <sighs> How is Kofmo doing? I hope he's not still mad at me for not laughing at his jokes. Oh, he's doing great. In fact, I don't think I've ever seen him this happy before. Well, Are it's good to know he hasn't completely lost his mind. He actually asked me to give you this. Oh! Hey, what now? Oh, come now. Hey, what is that? 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 I think it's a nest. Yes, here, here. Hello? R Ragatha? That was your name, right? 
getting out, Raji. Look, I'm. I didn't mean to leave you behind like that. I. Just. Look at my hand. I. I didn't know what to do. It, it, it's okay. What you need to do right now is find Kane. He'll be able to fix me up and take care of Kokomo. Okay, but where can I find him? Uh, I don't really know. Just look around and call for him, I suppose. Uh, okay, oh, I'll get him. You just stay right there. Not that you can really move or anything. Uh, just hang in there. I'll be right back. I promise. Cool. Oh, so pommy. I'm sorry. Your, your first day here at the BTO. Terrible. Uh, yeah. Well, don't worry about it. I'm just gonna go get Kane now. Damn, eh? Go get Kane, Hello? huh? Oh wait, you're checking a door. Oh, Sean. Oh, Sean. How can I see it? There you go. Why are you been dragging over? Yeah, oh gosh, you're going to see this again. Kane? That guy came down, Sean. The abomination just won him. What form of non Glorkian mass dares presume presence this in the voice is more Lord Queen? Oh, is that who you are? You know, you could have asked for my consent before forcing me to see something so completely and utterly disgusting. <laughs> oh, despicable. A rabbitoid that runs its mouth in the presence of my royal figure. Well, as a royal myself, I would like to kindly ask him. Oh, look, there's Zubal. Hi, Zubal. Ah, uh, help me, you idiots! Kind of rude, Zubal. Now I don't want to help you. Yeah, mate. No, oh, I always lose. Yes. Hey, oh yeah. Gotcha. Huh? There you go, oh. what now? Hey! King are you, mother! <laughs> yeah, I'll be fine. Whoa, okay. <laughs> gotta hide, gotta hide, gotta hide! There you go, what can you say to Sessie? Oh gosh. Yeah, you guys are going to. Are you really curious? The monkeys are you guys? The territory you guys want? Oh god! God, where is Kane? Huh? I, I, that's the door? Oh my gosh! No sorry this Kane, you don't sorry this! I need to sell sausage. Oh, we damn. Are you a window? Are you a window being dosed in Morgan? It needs me a, a strong making stuff. You foolish assortment of colorful characters! Do you not realize that everything must be Gloinks? I am Gloinks! You will be Gloinks! God will be Gloinks! This is dumb and weird. Same. Well, but even yet, you're still watching it! I'm not here for the adventure <laughs> or anything, I'm just here to hide from the- Oh my god! 
Oh, thank you. God, thank you. you're okay. You didn't experience a game show in there, did you? Uh, I... What are you talking about? Oh, damn, he just... Oh, back, back, back. Damn, damn, he just showed me. What's happening? It's just Kofmo. Don't worry about it. Kofmo abstracted? Nah, he's fine. You're right! Come on, we gotta get out of here! Um, guys, gosh. over there. Let's go, let's go on. <laughs> It's Susan. Ladies first. Let's say sin. No, wait, why would I say that? Ah, I mean, let's say fuck all Wait, Pomni's not even here? Wasn't this whole thing for her? Be quiet. I can't hear the escalator. Well, okay. She's going insane at the door to hire his assistance. Whoa, what is it you here? Whoa, what is that cool thing down there? Hey, yo! Hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo. He gets showing you and lost me so in vain. You always know how to make me say this exact sentence. Yes! An alert on my wacky watch at this hour? Oh no! Someone's venturing out into the void! They'll get totally spoiled! Go out, huh? Where are they going? There you go! Now what the heck happened around here? Oh yeah! My doing! Can't Kane! Do Kofmo went through a sort of Kofmosis and abstracted! Kofmo abstracted? Why didn't anybody tell me? <laughs> and into the cellar you go! Oh, wow. Okay, it's all my managers. Man, I can't believe Kofmo just gave up like that. I mean, no offense, Kinger, but I always thought you would be next. Thank you. Guess it just goes to show you can't rely on Kinger for anything. Oh, I? I am in so much pain! Oh, wait, and the odd back too. Oh, I? I do have to apologize for lying about the exit. I knew how much all of you have been wanting there to be one, but, you know, I was having so much trouble figuring out what to put on the other side and ended up never quite finishing it. And you know how I never like letting people see my unfinished work, especially if it leads you out into the void. Yeah, anyway, yeah. it looks like you defeated the Gloit Queen, so I guess the adventure's over. Your reward is a delicious digital feast cooked by our head bubble chef. Made with all the love, I'm legally allowed to get. Hey, yo, what now? Well, me I am pretty guess, huh? You didn't even do anything. So what? I can still be hungry. Well, not really, because we don't need to eat, drink, or sleep in this digital world. So the digital food here only gives off the virtual sensation of eating without Damn. any of the nutritional benefits. Sheesh, lay off it. Since when are you an expert on the digital world? Expert on the what?
So, I see what happened. So, what happened there? What happened there? I said, you have a sailor? So, I know it's how I start to go to episode one. Honestly, PDM good, I just say. PDM good. I'll start working on my thesis. Grammarly will. Yeah. Today, Glitch posted a new most recent teaser no, for the second episode of The Amazing Digital Circus. And yes, there probably won't be any more of these until the second episode is released. In the post, they reminded us that the release of the second episode will take place as early as this Friday. You can also easily spot a few unusual details in the new teaser. In addition, Gooseworks made an extremely interesting Twitter post on the same day as the teaser and gave a hint about the content of many future episodes. By the way, somewhere in the video, I've hidden a photo of Kinger, and anyone who finds it will get one interesting theory in the comments. And we'd like to start with a new teaser from Glitch. In the picture, we can notice a huge flying cane in Candy Canyon. Next to his hands is a large gumball dispenser. In the background, huh? we see Pomni standing on the ground talking. This is great part two of the series, so I um, I thought uh, it's great part two of the video. I ain't gonna be a series anymore, and now they're going to part two of the video. Oh, it's uh, the series, uh, yeah, yeah. The series, uh, the series, uh, yeah, yeah. They show. Uh, they show the series. Honestly, uh, I mean, I'm really hyped for it, right? I'm really hyped for the second episode, and here I am trying out all the TV shows, series, and episodes, showing this art, this, the shows that's here, here, and a lot more coming up. More coming up. Coming up, this is the main part in episode 2. Part episode 2. Part episode 2, right here now, you go watch the main part, then you go watch this in here. Then we go watch a secret part here. Part here. They call you largely insane. But this gets the secret part harder. Get the assessment cards up. The only thing that you have to call the secret part is obviously the most complicated part ever, the easy complicated part ever into the game. And it's the episode. And not showing anything, but I only watch the episode. But not that show. I got to get asked this thing out so I'm not showing anything. See so you guys, hey, I'm more than tedious. I don't want to show anything, guys, eh? See you guys, so here I am, I'm going to show a tears. A tears, so you guys are going to show if he got a little, if he's always here now. See you right here now. But honestly, I'm literally getting all the parts. I'm literally signing out with everything, everything, guys, after two. So two, we're here now. So let's then go and get into the size. The next size, by watching out the third part, the main part of the story. Couple days, the Wacky Watch website will be updated, and very soon, the final teaser for the second episode will appear on Twitter Glitch. The next episodes will show us abstracted characters in their human appearance and that will determine the entire future course of the show. Thank also, you. in the second or third episode, the characters will be tortured, and in this video, I can prove it to you. By the way, somewhere in the video, I hit a photo of Bubble, and anyone who finds it will get valuable information from me in the comments. I'd like to start with predictions about new teasers. I'm sure it won't be long before the Wacky Watch website is updated one last time, before the second yeah, episode is released. Too. Do you remember the materials that Glitch posted after the first trailer of the new Digital yes. Circus episodes was released? They're quite similar in developments to what they're publishing now, after the final trailer was released. Plus, then, the Wacky Watch website was updated after the trailer was released. We're less than a week away from episode 2. My I guess is that Glitch you. will update Wacky Watch this week. And On it, we'll likely be shown snippets from the beginning of episode out. 2 in more detail. Specifically, what happened after Pomni out. woke up to share with you 
An unusual but very interesting theory. One of the main mysteries of the pilot is a basement with a lot of abstracted characters. Undoubtedly, this mystery has piqued the interest of Digital Circus in me, as well as many of you. In pilot, we were also shown many rooms in the background with the faces of unknown characters who were in the circus before the main characters and abstracted. I mentioned in a past video that Gooseworks talked about the appearance of desiccated corpses in the digital circus in her Tumblr. There is a possibility that the images of mutilated corpses will be a psychological test for our characters within the digital space. But what seems more likely to me is the following. We will be shown desiccated corpses in the real world of those people who couldn't handle the pressure oh, and damn. abstracted inside the digital circus. Also in the second episode, 100% there will be a theme about abstracted characters. Because I think we were shown in the new trailer, the scene where Pomni falls into the basement yeah, and she too. starts to abstract for a reason. Yes. This theory sounds natural enough and expected according to the information we have. But I noticed something curious. Gooseworks mentioned in her Tumblr that no one has been able to predict the plot of the next episode so far. So it occurred to me that the most hey, probable and logical now? theories will not come true in future episodes. In that case, one interesting theory in the comments from Athapan then caught my attention. I want to tell you, I read all the theories under my videos, but I can't fit them all into one video at once. Your theories are good and the turn has finally come to you. Leave your thoughts and theories in the comments and be sure to get into the next videos. Our subscriber believes that abstracted characters actually find their way out of the digital circus, back into the real world. This old theory sounds very unusual and therefore may turn out to be true. As I've said more than once, it pays to prepare for the unexpected. Anything can happen. I believe when Pomni was desperately searching for the exit door and running around abandoned offices trying to get out of the circus, she was as close to abstracted as possible. What if Pomni would have walked out of one door and into reality herself while her body became abstracted in the game? If this theory holds true, the next episodes will show us the real world with living people outside of digital space. We will oh, learn no. what state of civilization is in, how that reality differs from ours, and what kind of company created the digital circus, what people in the state think about it. Of course, judging by Pomni's reaction to getting into the circus, yes. you think that no one knows about Digital Circus except the creators and players. Same here. However, it seems to me that the Digital Circus could very well be a psychological experiment or a government military development. Yeah, same. Based on this, I get the idea that the abstracted characters will play a role in the story as real people. Yes. When they wake up in the real world, they'll probably want to help get all the other people out of the trap. In a dystopian alternate reality, the abstracted could become important allies to the characters on the other side of the screen. Yeah, say too. I think abstracted and liberated people would try to intervene in the adventures to convey messages to the characters. Outside the circus, they could create complications for the development company, bring public attention to what's going on. Yeah. The game imprisons living people for an indefinite period of time. Thus, the work of the development company could be seriously sabotaged. Yes. But this may have a negative impact on the main characters who have not had time to escape from the digital space. Same Developers you. may start torturing them inside the digital space. By the way, this may become the very moment of appearance of frightening images of dried corpses. I suggest we turn to the trailer of the second episode, specifically to that scene with the blue face of an unknown character. Many people uh -huh. have noticed from the tiles on the wall that it's probably just a room with puzzles, but yeah. completely unlit. I have previously speculated that this character could be a future villain. My theory is that this hey, blue character is, uh, this was created by Kane or the development team to torture players. Uncomfortable characters who were too actively looking for a way out were put here. Perhaps this is where Kane, or this blue character, was bringing them to a state of abstraction. It's entirely possible that Kane is actually in complete control of the abstraction process. The only abstracted character we know anything about is Kofmo. He certainly wasn't much used to Kane in Circus. Characters who are constantly looking for a way out create difficulties for Kane. I think Kane planned on eliminating Kofmo from the beginning to replace him with a new character. But if the entire Digital Circus is the servers of a certain game, think about it. What happens if the Digital Circus servers go down before all the people can get out? Given the realistic nature of all experiences in the digital space, this could lead to the death of some characters in the real world. We have information that the show will get sad and tragic in the future. Unfortunately, it is unlikely that all the characters will reach the finale 
and make it out alive from the digital circus. But that's not the end of it. Oh my gosh, what the wall is! Take back to it. Also, I do anyone in the chat room, I do anyone in the chat room, um, to the show you guys. This is really oddly. We can see Hotsu. Ozzy? Hotsu to Ozzy? This is so cool, so nice too. Who is nearby. You can find a real bunch of weird, unusual details in this teaser if you yes. look closely. Gangle and Kinger are inside a vending machine. Gangle looks really scared. I think the characters in the teasers look surprised and scared all the time. Not only because too. the setting is so strange, yes. but also because Kane makes them move between places very quickly. But we'll yeah, come back it. to that a little later in the video. If we look at Kinger's eyes, we see that he's looking straight down at the bottom of the machine. Perhaps his attention was just caught by the large amount of gum. But I think there may be something at the bottom in this scene. We've seen in other teasers that at this point in Candy Canyon with the three characters shown, Ragatha and Jax are also present. The thought came to me that Ragatha and Jax could be in the same machine at the bottom, underneath Gangle and Kinger. Now, let's talk about Pomni. She's standing at the bottom next to Gummy Goo, and it looks like they're talking about something. The crocodiles look too intelligent to just attack the hero's truck without explanation. Hey, yo, I think now, there's going to be some conflict between the main characters so and the bar. crocodiles. I mentioned in the trailer breakdown that yeah, Princess yeah. Lula Lalu gives our heroes a key. My yeah, first theory too. is that the crocodiles won't initially antagonize the main characters, but will attack them because they want a reward from Lula Lalu. The crocodiles oh, oh, are yeah, after that very key for some reason. Let's take a closer look at Gummy Goo. His waist-deep body is in something that looks like a candy bar. And yes. if we look at the background, we can see that the tile abruptly breaks off. I'm pretty sure Kane materialized the candy bar literally just now, in front of the characters. That explains their confusion well. Of course, the entire digital circus is something like a matrix inside a computer. In the comments on Twitter, many users have pointed out that it looks like Gummy Goo is stuck in the game's textures. But I think the Digital Circus promotion team specifically yeah. selected this particular shot to lead us to such thoughts. It's more likely that Kane just moved everyone up in the air higher from Earth to show yeah. Candy Canyon from up high. And he took Pomni's location into account when he materialized the candy platform. I so that's too. why it's there. What Kane didn't know was that Gummy Goo was nearby. That's why Gummy Goo is trapped in the middle of the newly created platform. Oh, damn. Let's break it down with you. When does the scene shown in this teaser even take place? If we look at the position of the sky, we realize that the sun is still just rising. So this takes place in the morning, at the beginning of the series, when the characters first arrive at Candy Canyon. We've been shown similar scenes several times in teasers before. Yes. I'm talking about the teaser where we could also see a giant cane. There he took all the characters in his hat and also showed them Candy Canyon. Both of these scenes got me thinking. The characters probably look so scared because it wasn't Kane who got huge. He just made everyone else smaller, which is why the candy in the background, which is mostly normal sized in Candy Canyon, looks so huge. I'd also like to remind you of the teaser where Kane is normal sized. In it, the characters are engulfed Whoa. in flames coming from a highly flammable candle on a cake. In Damn the Candy it. Canyon teaser, it's still very early morning. Nice. The sun hasn't even risen. In all three of these teasers, you can Whoa. infer from the view in the sky. I see these teasers are kind of cool. I'll show you soon. In all th Whoa, I saw an amazing story as a kind of, you know, scene. I think they saw like a big cake, but I don't know if it's so many showing on. That it's, it's set a base around the script. I set the base around a show on town. On town. Then you see, then you see Kane, there's all of them, and a hat, a hat, it's all here, a symbol, that's, I need to do, I can't do, but I see, you see, Kango in a set, like, you see Kango, it's like Kai Yoyo. Three of these teasers, you can infer from the view in the sky, that these scenes will take place in the morning which means that all of these scenes are chronologically at the beginning of the episode. Same too. It turns out that when Kane brings the characters to Candy Canyon, he'll want to brag about his labor so that the characters appreciate his work and yes, effort. Yeah. And Kane will very much rush the characters into exploring the new place. Kane is able to move faster than anyone else due to his unlimited flight. 
the fastest way to show Candy Canyon to the main characters would be to shrink them down and put them in a hat to fly around in with Kane. But why did Gangle and Kinger end up inside the machine? It's no secret that Kane can appear anywhere and anytime. Yeah, I In Tumblr, Gooseworks specified that Kane is capable of appearing in the heroes' rooms as well, frequently too? enough to be a constant threat to their yes. personal affairs. Also on Tumblr, Gooseworks was asked why Kane shows up out of nowhere and torments the others with it. Yeah. The answer was short and clear. Kane is insane. It looks like Kane will spend more time with the main characters at the beginning of episode two than he did Same in the here. pilot. Yes. And during that time, he's going to move everyone around very quickly and put them in awkward positions. Oh, he seems to do this just for his own amusement. He's programmed to fill the digital circus with different events, and he does it that way. Wow, A okay. few more interesting posts have appeared on the Gooseworks Twitter account. Whoa. Prior to this, Gooseworks received many questions about whether or not Digital Circus would still be appropriate for young children. Damn. To avoid giving spoilers, the creator answered vaguely and ambiguously. She suggested that everyone should decide for themselves regarding the appropriateness of viewing for children when we have already watched all the new episodes ourselves. The other day, Gooseworks decided to give a full list of warnings about the show going forward. The following will appear in future episodes. Uncritical sexual insertions, censored swearing, references to hell, references to suicide, cartoon violence, uncritical realistic violence, views of dead bodies, use of firearms, uncritical scenes showing alcohol and drug use, dark Whoa. themes, and jacks. Some of the details on this list were known to us before, such as scenes showing violence, decomposing corpses, yes, profanity, and firearms. Yes. Some of the news is brand new. In the series will appear allusions and discourse on the theme of hell, suicide attempts, as well as alcohol and drugs. Oh gosh. And at the end of that list, Gooseworks brings in Jax. What we do know is that the most likely second episode will focus on Jax. Also in the Tumblr, Gooseworks let us know that we will soon learn more about Jax, the reasons for his cruelty to others, and his real character. I'm sure Jax's name was put at the end of this list for a reason. Some of the drawings of Jax published by Gooseworks let us know that we will be shown Jax depressed. People in that position often struggle with addiction. In my opinion, we will be shown in the second or third episode how Jax will try to cope with depression with the help of alcohol and drugs. It remains unclear exactly how alcohol and drugs will get into the digital circus. After all, Kane himself said in the pilot that the digital circus is for the whole family. How far do you think Kane will go for entertainment? Same too. What do the latest teasers show us? Where have Jax and Ragatha disappeared to? Yeah. Also, write your thoughts and theories in the comments about all the latest teasers of the second episode of The Amazing Digital Circus. Mm. Remember, I'm reading all your comments, and the best ones will make it into the next video. Yes. Also, don't forget to give me a like and subscribe to the channel. Man. Good luck, everyone, and bye-bye. Oh, I get you. What the wall, yeah? Bro. <laughs> Do you guys know what I should have? Oh, you suck. They were like, who has saw here? They were like, they were like, oh my god, they were, I said ceiling, I just saw who has saw it out in New York. Like, come close to me. Like, I saw that like a storm was seated. Like, what the wall here? Holy crap. That's how it's like, that's how it's like, what the wall here? Who's talking out in New York? Hear me. Oh my gosh, I stopped, 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 Again, he's dead this time. Oh, I also have a couple thoughts on episode three. Earlier, I said that Kane would punish Jax for his though. bad deeds with a dirty yes, job at fast food. Like I'm sure many of you have seen the picture TV circulating via yeah. Tumblr Gooseworks, showing an embarrassed Jax in a maid costume dress. Tumblr Gooseworks asked if Jax would appear in one of the episodes in such a costume, to which we again did not get a definite answer. We'll have to wait and see for ourselves. From this, I'll add to my theory. The punishment for Jax probably won't be limited to fast food. In addition oh, wow. to the main tent, the Digital Circus has many rooms and locations we haven't seen yet. They need someone to maintain them, to clean them. Usually Kane has Bubble and the other NPCs do this, but now it's up to Jax to clean up the entire digital space. I also remembered that Jax has keys to almost every room in the Digital Circus. It would be witty and fair of Kane to make Jax clean all the rooms he has keys to. So in episode three, we'll get to see Jax in his maid costume,
and get a lot of new information. I think oh, wow. we'll be shown all the rooms of the main character and the rooms of some of the abstracted characters like Queenie. We'll learn more about why Jax is acting so rude and what's on his mind. We'll be told more about the characters who were here before Pomni and Abstracted. To summarize, I predict that Episode 3 will focus on revealing the characters, their motivations, their pasts, and their relationships with each other. Okay, what do you think of the new theories? And when will the Wacky Watch website be updated? Are the abstracted characters on the loose or already dead? Will the developers in Kane subject the main characters to torture? Will we see Jax in a maid costume in future episodes? Oh gosh, are you really going to Write your theories you in the comments these, this, this, and I'll be sure to read them all. And the best ones will make it into the new videos. Right. Also, don't forget to give me a like and subscribe to the channel. Good luck everyone and bye bye. Pomni is actually the main enemy for all the characters. I found incredible evidence for this theory, thanks to all the new teasers and trailer for the second episode of The Amazing Digital Circus. I also took into consideration the first episode, which has some details too. For example, have you ever wondered if Pomni is shown with Kane too often, and also sometimes she goes crazy, which clearly could be for a reason? I have a theory that Pomni might be purposely showing us her supposedly weak side, and at the Whoa. end of the series we're in for a very interesting plot twist that you wouldn't even know about. By the way, somewhere in the video, I've hidden a picture of Gangle, and whoever finds it will get another secret theory about Pomni. Exactly I'd like to start exactly with the you. evidence that Pomni either doesn't really exist and is a hallucination for the characters, or she would be the main villain of the digital circus. Well, the first thing I found odd was Pomni's behavior. She showed up at the circus instead of Kofmo and started thinking about an exit while also inclining them to believe that there is a way out of the digital circus somewhere. But she just might have made an image that on pretty much every teaser, she looks sad, rarely where she looks happy. Later on, Which she I... might actually start to confuse the characters. And the first person to suspect this is Kinger. I want to remember the scene we all already know about with Kinger and the shotgun, where he brutally beats Pomni and seemingly spares her no mercy. Oh, this damn. passage was presented to us obviously not from the second episode. It will be either in the third episode or later. Kinger has been in the digital circus longer than any of the other characters. We know this information from the first episode. And if you look at everything that is going on here, it seems to me that Kinger beats not exactly Pomni, but something dark and possibly evil. We were specifically shown this fragment in a dark location, but thanks to the lighted picture, it becomes clear that the silhouette in the corner resembles Pomni. And here the question arises, either Kinger is starting to go crazy, and that's why he hits Pomni, or he suspects something about her, or even finds out the truth. But from Kinger's expression of emotion, I'm leaning more towards the second option. However, Kinger may also be batting a ghost, a new character we don't know yet, but that's another theory. Also, one of the key factors is Jax, who I think clearly knows some truth. We don't know how exactly he got into the digital circus, and yes, I think even a real person with that character wouldn't wear a VR headset, so I'm assuming he's one of the show's developers. As for Pomni, he might know all about Pomni. Likewise, Pomni knows everything about Jax, yes. and specifically playing his role. I don't yeah. remember Jax and Pomni fighting or confronting each other in any way in the first episode. Same also, here. Jax specifically chose Pomni for the first mission. Yes. I have a theory that these two developers got into the digital circus on purpose to control the situation from the inside and also to monitor Kane's behavior because he is oh. an artificial intelligence. And then I have another theory that if Pomni tells the characters that there is an exit on purpose so that the digital circus game is not boring. It is on yeah, purpose to have the characters go through certain challenges, thus creating a story to the game. Well, yes. at the end of the digital circus series, it will turn out that Pomni is actually the only one who will leave this game, and all the other Again, characters yeah, will huh? either abstract or continue to exist in the digital world. Damn, By the way, this way there may be a second season of the series, although Gooseworks and Glitch said that the digital circus will have one season. Well, what if it's the other way around? I also have an opposing theory that Pomni was put into the digital circus on purpose to get rid of her. After all, in fact, Pomni might actually be the game developer, only she started doing something wrong because she learned the truth about this digital world and that real people actually go there. And maybe she put on a VR headset herself to help other characters. But realizing what risks the game developers themselves are taking, they decide to create new locations with new NPCs to thwart Pomni's plans. After yeah. all, if the locations change every episode, yeah. it will make it much harder to find a way out of the digital world. Also, Pomni will not just appear in all the new locations and she will be sent there by Kane, who was programmed by real people. 
Zubal and Gangle can also be linked to this theory <clears throat> because the, the new teasers don't show them in the new location. Yes. Accordingly, Kane specifically tailored the characters for the new mission. Similarly, we understand that Pomni will also appear in Episode 4 because she is in the scene with Kinger. But beyond that, we don't know exactly how the developers at CNA feel about all the characters. Perhaps they are so brazen that they are using Pomni as the main character to increase sales of their product. By the way, an interesting Gosh. question arises. Will they show us the real world in this show? Because someone is clearly behind it. I also yeah, have a theory too. that Pomni may just be a hallucination for all the characters. Yeah. Thanks to Kane, we know that there are digital hallucinations in the circus, and they look very believable. We can see this in the example of the red door labeled Exit, because there's still a huge location hidden behind it. Mm. And this is what Kane describes as digital hallucinations. It's not clear until the end how exactly this can be justified either and whether digital hallucinations can have failures. Also, can we distinguish them from real things because everything in the digital circus is digital? But if we assume that Pomni is just an ordinary character who got into the circus just like the others, yes. then she may have a mission. The characters obviously don't just stumble upon a VR headset that Same brings you. them to this place. And besides, there are only six main characters. Yes. So why don't any of the other people just stumble into this place? Either all of these characters are developers of the game itself and got here either of their own volition or they were sent here on purpose because they needed to be gotten rid of. Based on the Damn. first episode, as well as all the teasers and trailer, mm -hmm. we can't understand all the details and the full structure of the Stay digital deal. circus. Although we do have some blueprints, yes. how exactly new locations appear and when Kane has time to create them. And can he give the characters tasks every day? So far, all of these points remain a mystery. I'm sure that in the second episode, some moments will become much clearer to us because we will be shown something new and interesting. But Same perhaps deal. some basic elements in terms of development of the game itself will be a secret from us. Yes. About the real world, by the way, we can be told about the fourth episode when Jax will work in fast food because so we can learn his character in real life and why he mocks people. By the way, maybe he is the owner of the same fast food place and fights very badly with his employees. Oh gosh. That's why Jax is offered a job behind the cash register at the Digital Circus. Ultimately, I want to say that who Pomni is, as well as the rest of the characters, we don't know yet. We yeah. have seven more episodes to see, and I am nice. sure that they will show us all the interesting details, but also give us a chance to make a choice and come up with something of our own. Mm -hmm. There is not much time left before the release of the second episode, and very soon we will see a trailer for it, so we will be able to analyze its yeah. plot in more detail. I also think that all new locations will play a certain role, which will gradually Me reveal too. to us the secrets of the digital world and its structure. Mm. By the way, perhaps we will be able to see the abstracted characters in further episodes, yes. and they will also be able to tell us something. I think it would be interesting for everyone to see them. They may appear in the third episode when the main characters are sent to a haunted house. I also hope that they will reveal the secrets of Kafmo's room Can and tell know? us who Kane really is and why Kafmo considered him the main villain. Yes. What do you think about Pomni? And also, do you consider her a mysterious character? Would you like to see the real world in a digital circus? Write what you think about it in the comments. You can also write your theories because I read every one of them. Perhaps it is your theory that I will analyze in the next video. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Good luck to everyone and bye-bye. And the writers are actively giving us lots of new information. Glitch posted a new teaser on their Twitter account, and the mannequins in Candy Canyon will actually be a threat to the characters. Gooseworks tweeted a new digital circus character on their account. Also, hey, yo, well, an official store with merch on Amazing Digital Circus opened for a short time in Japan, showing yeah, some I information it too. too. These are 50 facts you we'll didn't know about, about Jax from the Amazing hey, yo, Digital out. Circus. The creator admitted that Jax- Oh my gosh, I, I can't it's literally show you that. Also, somewhere in the video, Dude, I, I hit a picture of Jax, here. and anyone who finds it will get a new interesting fact about the second episode of Digital Circus. I'd yeah. like to start with a general look at Glitch Studio's Twitter account. A lot of new stuff has appeared there in the last few hours. Yeah, One shit. of the old teasers has appeared on the account's masthead, along with the caption on it that the second episode will premiere on May 3rd. Glitch also published a new teaser for the second episode. On it, we yeah. can notice the following. Kane is curiously watching what's going on below. And in Candy Canyon, Jax and Pomni are running away from a large crowd of colorful dummies shown uh -huh. earlier to us as new NPCs. Yes. The teaser is signed, Make sure to say hello to our NPC locals when you visit our candy desert. They endlessly await your arrival. Pomni looks worried. Even Jax's face doesn't have his usual smile on it. 
we can conclude that the situation is indeed serious. Remember, Jax didn't look serious at all during the pilot adventure. It was hard to tell mm -hmm. from him that he was bothered by the abstracted Kaufmo and the insane Queen Gloink. In general, I'd like to say that the whole teaser looks like it's not a screenshot from the new episode. Yeah. It's like the characters have been cut and edited into one image. On Tumblr, Gooseworks said that teasers are mostly handled by the marketing team. Perhaps with this teaser, mm. the developers just want to confuse us. But it seems to me that even though this shot won't be in the second episode, the events from it will happen. Yes. Previously in the trailer, we were shown the new colorful dummies as exceptionally kind characters. They are Princess Lulalalu's handmaids. Yes. Plus, they crowd the main characters and were overjoyed yes. at their arrival. What if it turns out that these dummies are even too obsessed with the main characters? We've already seen once in the pilot that mannequins can oh, be a threat. When Pomni disturbed one, he nearly attacked her, leaving the imprint of his mask on the door. Damn. Furthermore, it's worth remembering that all the NPCs yes. were created and programmed by Kane. I think Kane purposely made the colorful dummies too excited about the player's arrival to keep them busy. After all, it will be fun and entertaining to watch. There's another interesting detail. When I was taking apart the latest trailer, I mentioned it. From the scenes in which Gangle is shown with and without the Mask of Joy, you can tell when she gets it and when she loses it. My prediction is that Gangle gets the Mask of Joy from Kane right before he shoves her and everyone else into the portal leading to Candy Canyon. Next, well, Gangle okay. is shown walking through a joyful crowd of colorful mannequins, still wearing the Mask of Joy. And in the next scene, with Luli Lalu, Gangle is already without the Mask of Joy. I had Damn. assumed that Gangle would break the Joy Mask as he walked through the crowd of mannequins. Now we are explicitly hinted that the mannequins will be another threat to the main characters. Yeah, Perhaps yeah. they'll attack Gangle or start tossing heroes up in droves. At that time, Gangle will fall unluckily and the Mask of Joy will be shattered. It's likely that Gangly's broken mask will be an accident, but Pomni yes. and Jax aren't just running away from them. It could be part of the challenge Princess Lulilelu is giving them. They Whoa. could also have been coaxed or bribed by the crocodiles. But I have another interesting theory about Gangle. We've seen her Mask of Joy and her Mask of Sadness, but maybe she has other masks as well. Yeah. For example, we may be shown her Mask of Anger or Irritation, because two new and interesting information we are not shown in teasers. So this fact we can see only in the new episode. Speaking of jelly crocodiles, we're finally told what the names of the other two cowboys on the team with Gamigu are. Gooseworks was asked about it on Tumblr, and she said their names are Max and Chad. That but there sad, are a few huh? other options. Remember that moment from the trailer where they showed us Fudge Monster's eyes? He looked like he was hypnotizing someone. It's oh, possible damn. that it was the fudge monster who hypnotized the colorful mannequins to get in the way of the main character's adventure. Huh? Of course, Kane could have created the dummies that way for fun. Well, okay. But Kane himself could be controlled by the creators of the digital circus, CNA. It seems likely to me that the CNA staff manually altered the behavior of these NPCs. Yeah, they do. They made the mannequins chase the heroes. This was necessary so that the characters would not linger in Lululalu Kingdom and would sooner go on their adventure. Yeah. Also, the pursuit by the NPS will not let Pomni and other heroes worry about the exit door because mm -hmm. they will always have to move. So the heroes will find escape from the crowd of dummies in the candy truck. Yes. This teaser itself came out for a reason. A large number of Glitch's recent Twitter posts have focused on the fact that Japan has seen the long-awaited opening of a store with official digital circus oh, merchandise. Wait, wait, yeah. On Twitter, Glitch yes. showed off what the store looks like inside. From the merchandise there, you can mostly spot t-shirts and plush toys. The creators also worked on a rather large-sized statue Whoa. of Pomni. You can also notice the cardboard figures of Ragatha and Jax. The two so figures cool. themselves stand next to the recreated Kalfmo yes. room we were shown in the pilot. There's something equally interesting. There was a preview of the second episode and a fan meetup for the show in Japan, and a Q&A with the developers was also held there. So yeah. far, I haven't found any leaked new footage from the second episode online. I think any video recording equipment at the pre-show was just banned, and people could have their cameras and phones taken away. Either no new scenes from the second episode, unknown before, were simply not shown at that meeting. Mm. I'll keep an eye out for updates and will let you know right away if anything new comes up. On her Twitter account at the time, Gooseworks published several new posts. There she showed off a character we've seen before, but hey, yo, there wasn't much information about you? her. She's a yellow blue-eyed doll with red hair named Gooby. Gooby She's huh? also wearing pink clothes that look like a gym outfit. Yeah. In the artwork with her, she says that she is the only amazing digital circus character that is legally recognizable by the U.S. government. 
Hey, yo, what now? It's clear from Gooseworks' post that she decided to draw her friend's fan character. She promises she won't do anything like that again. Oh. Gooseworks also posted a second piece of art. It shows a smiling Jax rolling Gooby's neck and face flat with a rolling pin. Damn. I mentioned earlier that fan characters are unlikely to appear in the show itself, yeah. as the scripts for all future episodes and storylines have already been written. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, no one has canceled the possibility of fan character cameos in some episodes. Oh. Plus, even though the plot is already written, yes. we don't know all the plot twists and further developments yet. Yes, same all this time we have been prepared for the events of the new episodes to be yeah. unpredictable and unexpected for all of us. In Tumblr, we can notice that even when Gooseworks doesn't give a direct answer to the viewer's question, she points out exactly those questions and those topics that we mm. should pay attention to. In my opinion, in the same way, Gooseworks only tweets about the amazing digital circus that we should pay attention to. What do you think of the latest publications? Yes. What will the colorful mannequins do to our heroes? Yeah. And who made them a threat to the characters? Do you think the new teaser is real footage from the second episode or is it edited? What new things can we still learn from the pre-show in Japan? You guys Will fan out? characters continue to appear in Gooseworks publications? Yes. Write your theories on this in the comments, mm -hmm. and I'll be sure to read them all. The best comments will make it into the new videos. Same also, way. don't forget to give me a like and subscribe to the channel. Yes. Good luck to everyone, and bye-bye. <laughs> all right, anyway, I'd like you guys to shout out to all the teachers and see what I've fallen part the going got at this coffee M. Yeah, I'm gonna say, Hardy, Holy. Dude, this show is so cool. Like, I never thought I never, like, lost the show. So, like, like, I never thought this show would be, like, this one cool. Like, I thought I see like, a show on Monday show that, uh, that um, I'm gonna show a new show that gets Sean Dead. Or gets Sean Dead to you and see. Hmm. Like, this was kind of interesting to watch, but I don't know. Then all of a sudden it got popular, or it, or all of a sudden it got popular, 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 and I said, like, whoa, I got to second that, what are you doing now? Yeah, what are you doing now? And said to the higher this, and this me, he got some good. And I see why is the combination is going to so much similarity. And then why? I highly hyped the last and see that too. I just copy him to, just copy him, nearly two. Let's say go. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, uh, checking out our tears, and checking out this episode of the series. Last thing go, I'll see you guys next time, and then the video actually comes out near the end. And I come back to the camera, then I come back to the camera, the um, camera you're doing. How is the camera you're doing? So that's the thing go, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.